Well, good morning or good day or afternoon or whenever you're watching this. Today's Reddit tip, today's video is how to label the existing rooms in a demo plan. I know this come up recently and Reddit has a little bit of a snafu built into it in that when you're in a new work plan, you can't and you're trying to show the demo of the walls and the rooms, you can't label the existing rooms because they're not there. Work with me. I'm going to show you an example right now. Okay. <clears throat> and a solution. Let me put my face right over here. Okay. You guys already know about our, our fancy, fun little building we got here. But we're not going to go there today. We're going to go over here. I'm just going to kind of push that plan off to the side. Let's suppose right here we had an existing building. Okay. So let me, let me <clears throat> just um, put an existing building right over here. So let's say we have some walls. We've got a wall. Okay. We've got a wall that is from the first floor up to the second floor, whatever. Okay. And it's going, let's make an, an exterior wall. <laughs> Here's some brick. Good, good, good. Whatever. Okay. We've got existing, wait, we're in a regular plan and the new work plan. We need to be in an existing floor plan. So make yourself an existing view and set the phase to existing so that when we work, when we actually are drawing, anything that you draw with the phase set to existing will go into the existing building. So let's just talk, let's just work here. Okay. We've got ourselves a little building. La la la. I'm just going to build this a nice little building here. Whatever. Who really cares what it looks like friends. Okay. Trim that up. Okay. So let's say this is our little building, whatever. Okay. And let's say we've got some interior walls too. And so I would like some interior walls. How about, mm hmm. How about a, um, <clears throat> just some interior metal walls. So we've got an interior wall going on here. Yeah. So this is existing, right? And we've got, maybe there's a, a room. <laughs> okay. Maybe there's a room over here. And when you come in, maybe there's a little, uh, another little room over there. Whatever. Whatever. Who cares? Okay. Who cares? <clears throat> this is our building. And we're going to put in a door. Let's just type um, double, like a double hollow metal frame door. Yeah. So we're getting into the building here. That looks good. And we need to, um, we need to get into the rooms. And I'm going to do a search for single doors. Here's a wraparound frame. Um, okay. So let's say we can get into that room. This room is like a closet. This one we can get into right there. Bam. Okay. So now this looks realistic. La 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 la. We need rooms here. Okay. So when I type room, I am going to, um, let's just put, I've got a room here and a room here and a room here. Easy peasy. You've seen this before. Okay. So I've placed rooms in all these spots, but these, my friends are not, um, they're existing rooms. Okay. And so this one, when we first come in, is going to be lobby. Okay. And then we've got a little office over here. And then we've got a little, maybe another office over there. <clears throat> and maybe this is storage. Okay. We've got an existing plan here. And this is um, <laughs> a reception. Receptionist has their own little room, staff, whatever. Okay, so we've got an existing plan. Now we need a demo plan. When we go to the new work, you'll notice that it shows existing objects here, okay? These are all of our existing objects. When you want a demo plan, you duplicate your new work plan. Work with me. We duplicate the view, okay? The new work plan. We rename it demo there's a plan dash demo 
Okay, this is our demo plan. So we need to set the template to be a demo template. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate the existing um, view template. And I'm going to call this a plan demo. Okay, this is for demolition drawings. And the only thing I need to change is the phase filter to show previous and demo. There. Okay, so now this is going to show previous and demo <clears throat> in a moment when we demo some stuff. So let me just get the uh, boundaries of this drawing over here. Okay, and I'm going to go back. Okay, here's our existing drawing. La, 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 okay? And <clears throat> what I want to do is have, um, what I want to do, I, what I want to show, I'm just, what I'm doing is changing my cropping region so that it's a little bit smaller right there, okay? And crop view. Okay, so here we go. We need to demo some stuff. So let me go to my demo plan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I plan to, hey, in my, de um, in my demo plan, here what is, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to lay, uh, and demo some stuff. So on modify, I can grab this little hammer and say, okay, I don't want this door or this wall. And I'm getting rid of that door and that wall. In fact, I'm going to blot all the interior walls. Get rid of these doors, get rid of these walls. Look at this. We're gutting this thing. Bam. Okay. That's our demo plan. And I can put annotation and notes all over this thing. But look at this. When I go to my new work, it shows those gone. Ah, oh no, they're gone. So let's put in some new walls. I want to put in a new wall. Um, I want to put in a new wall that goes like over to here and one down from here. Okay. That's nice. I like that. Ooh, that's really good thinking, Mike. Maybe I'll run this all the way across. Ah, I'm liking that. Oops. <clears throat> there we go. This is looking really nice. We need to get some new doors in here. Okay, that makes sense. And maybe flip that one to the other side. There we go. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. And how about we put an entrance on the end and we're going to demo that. So I can just, I can either use my hammer or highlight it, you know this, go to the phase that is demolished and demolish it in new, gone, and it fills itself. So this is our new plan, okay? So let's put rooms in here. I'm gonna put a room right here, and a room right here, and a room right here. This now is our lobby. I'm gonna highlight that. This is our lobby, and let's just say, this is a toilet, toilet room, and this is office, whatever. Okay. There we go. Off, off, off. Office. There we go. Spell it right. Now, here's the problem that people run into. And we're finally to the crux of the matter. When I go to my demo plan, I say, oh, you know what? I should show the labels of these rooms. Well, you'll notice that because we're in a new work plan, the existing rooms are not here. The existing walls can be shown, but the existing rooms in Revit cannot be shown in another phase, okay? So, if I went to label these, look at this, uh, room tag. If I went to label these, you'll notice it's only the new stuff that's showing up. <laughs> I can't label them. Anyway, this is where people go, they get frustrated and they go, why? Wait, wait, wait. I, in my demo plan, I need to be able to identify these rooms. So, here you go. This is the solution. We're finally to the solution. Here it is. Go to your existing plan. See it? Existing plan. Duplicate it. Duplicate it with detailing. Okay? So there she is. Ha! Identical. But what we want to do is give this, we want to change this thing. So the view template, um, what I want to do is make a new view template for you guys. New. And this one is called rooms only oh my goodness what in the world is he talking about rooms only go to the model objects select all and turn everything off except you guessed it rooms and i turn on the color fill and the interior fill okay go to annotation objects and turn everything of those all those off except room tags bing 
room tags. So this is what our, our view looks like. Oh no! So now, let's go to the sheet and I'll show you how this works. If we go to the sheet, I'm going to make a, I think I have a first floor plan. Okay. Here's my first floor plan. Okay, blah, blah, blah. This is going to be the new work plan right there. Mm-hmm, see that? Office, toilet, lobby. That's the new work. But I want, let's just say I want my demo plan on this sheet also. Okay, I didn't crop my other building, but whatever. Huh, you people. Here we go. Demo, try to ignore that, please. <clears throat> We want the demo plan on here also. So I am going to drag my demo plan on here, okay? And set it right there. First floor plan, look at that. And I'm going to actually name the view demo so that you can, on the sheet, demo, okay? So this is the demo view. Now, yes, I've annotated it and I've put all kinds of labels on it, but here's the trick, people. If you want the room names here that are smart room names that attach to the existing rooms and name numbers, you take your existing, uh, this plan over here that I copied, and I should have renamed it first floor plan existing rooms only, right? I, I forgot to name it earlier. So anyway, I drag that over, wait for it, okay? And if I click on the plan here, look at it. it's only showing the rooms and the labels. I don't want this view to have a viewport title, so I'm just going to set it to no title. So this is what I've got, and I want to show you. If this thing, if I could somehow align it, that would be amazing. And it just so happens that Revit will do this. In Revit, if you are exactly aligned vertically with a plan, you will get this inference line. Okay. And when you're exactly aligned horizontally, you'll get the same inference line. You see that? And when you put it over the top exactly, you'll get both. And that's where you let go. Look at that. There and wait for it. There. Bam. So what we have here, friends, is a demo plan that shows the demo. It shows the existing and all of the room names are labeled from the existing. It's only one extra step to toss this rooms only view onto the sheet and it takes care of all your labels. And it just so happens that those blue areas don't print. So you can leave it like this if you like. If you can't stand that, you could go turn off that blue region if you like. But anyway, you know the fill. I just wanted to show you guys how to get labels on a demo plan. It's been a big issue for many years, and this, my friends, is the best practice to make it happen. So if you guys have any questions regarding this, let me know in the comments below, and I'll talk to you later. And tell another video, get out there and have fun. Happy Revving. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> I know I already said goodbye. But I forgot to make the screen bigger so you can see my face. So you can see my face in my eye. Okay, you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.